Here are some properties of the dot product. If vector x is perpendicular to vector y, then the dot product of vector x with vector y is equal to zero. So from the definition of the dot product, so the vector x multiplied by the vector y is equal to the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y times the cosine of the smaller angle between vector x and vector y. So that's going to be equal to the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y times the cosine of, well if x is perpendicular to y, the angle between them is 90 degrees. This is equal to modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y. The cos of 90 degrees is equal to zero. Now when you multiply the modulus of vector x by the modulus of vector y, it results in a scalar, which is just a number. And any number multiplied by zero is zero. So you've proven this result. Now if you think about the i and the j vector, they're perpendicular to each other. So the i vector dotted with the j vector is equal to zero. And also the j vector dotted with the i vector would also give zero. A second property of the dot product is if the vector x is parallel to the vector y, then the dot product of x with y is equal to the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y. So again, from the definition of the dot product, the dot product of vector x with y is equal to the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y times the cosine of the smaller angle between x and y. So this is equal to modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y. Now if x and y are parallel to each other, so suppose this is the vector x and this is the vector y. If they're parallel to each other, then the angle between them is zero, as they never meet. So it's the cosine of zero. This is equal to the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y times 1. The cos of 0 degrees is 1. So this is equal to the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y. And again, you've proven this result. Some more properties of the dot product are given here. The dot product of vector x with itself is equal to the modulus of vector x to be squared. From the definition of the dot product, vector x times vector x is equal to the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector x times the cosine of the smaller angle between the vectors. This is equal to the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector x times the cosine of, now the angle between the two vectors is zero degrees since it's just the vector x with itself. This is equal to modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector x, the cosine of zero degrees is one. So this is equal to the modulus of vector x to be squared. So now you've proven this result. This is important for the i and j vectors. So the i vector dotted with the i vector is equal to the modulus of the i vector to be squared. Now the modulus of the i vector is just one. One squared is one j times the j vector is equal to the modulus of the j vector to be squared. The modulus of the j vector is also 1. This was discussed previously. So 1 squared is equal to 1. Another property is the dot product of x with y is equal to the product of y with x. So the dot product is commutative. Now from the definition of the dot product x by y is equal to the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y times the cosine of the smaller angle between x and y. And the dot product of y with x is equal to the modulus of vector y times the modulus of vector x times the cosine of the smaller angle between x and y. The modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y is equal to the modulus of vector y times the modulus of vector x. So therefore, x 
dotted with y is equal to y dotted with x.